Welcome to a very special Feature Friday here at Oil Life. Today is National Donut Day and you can bet that we're celebrating here. So what we decided to do is take on a little bit of a challenge. You can see we got some great donuts over here. I don't want to tip them, but they're so yummy. And if you could smell them, they are just filling the room right now. Um, we got ours from Daylight Donuts, but feel free to get your donuts from wherever today. It's a great day to celebrate Donut Day. Um, and what we decided to do today is to try to make a diffuser blend that smells as good as these wonderful donuts that we have right here. So I just took one of these sample drams. It's a little bit bigger than the samples that you'll probably give out. It's just one dram and it's got a dropper. This is a great way to carry your diffuser blends and we'll talk more about that as we get throughout the summer, talk about traveling with oils, but today we're going to use this to try to make a blend that smells the way we want it to before we put it in our diffuser. And we've picked this new infinity diffuser that we just got because to me it looks the most like a donut. Out of all the ones we have, there's this little impression. So that's your take on it. You use whatever diffuser you want, but I'm loving our donut diffuser today. So we've got cinnamon, um, wild orange. I was looking for some nutmeg. Whatever you think that we should add to our diffuser blend, please put in the comments. And if we have it, we'll try it. I'm just going to start with a few drops of cinnamon. I think maybe three. I spent a bit smelling these to see what we could get. So I'm going to start with three drops of cinnamon. And you wouldn't think that you'd add the orange, but it actually adds some dimension to these smells that somehow gets that donut smell in there. So I'm going to add a little bit of wild orange in there. Again, we're just experimenting, so if you have any ideas, if you've used this, used this in the fall, if you've ever tried to replicate a donut smell, let us know. Tell us what we should add. A couple drops of orange. And then another funny one that as I was smelling, I kind of thought worked, and this is because of the sweetness, is the kumquat oil, which is kind of a newer one, but it smells really sweet and almost cinnamony also at the same time and kind of sugary, so I'm going to add a couple drops of that. And then the great thing about putting it in these vials before you put it in the diffuser is now I can check what it smells like. So I'm thinking we maybe need a little bit more cinnamon. Woo! Mmm, that smells <laughs> so rich. So I'm going to add a little bit more of the cinnamon. Just a couple drops. Mmm, that smells, that smells about right to me. So I'm going to, these are very easy diffusers to work with. I'm just going to pop the top off of this infinity diffuser and put my blend in there. And we'll have it going for a little bit and see how well that works. All right. So as we talk about what we have to talk about today, I'll let you know how well our blend is going. But today's topic is really exciting. So. The well-loved Essential Life book, which just turned two, um, there's actually a really easy and fun way to use this, this book, the third edition, that isn't really being used all the way, and so we want to talk about it today. If you head over to the blend section, it's over by the single oils, just past the single oils. I'm turning to page 143, but the section goes for quite a bit. You'll see that we have these generic blend names in our book, and this is something that goes throughout the whole section. There's a cleansing blend, there's a cellular blend, there's a balance blend, a lot of um, a grounding blend, a detoxification, comforting, lots of blends. Now, this third edition is special in that every blend name has a little circle above it. And these circles are actually targets for stickers. And this is something that's meant to make it really easy for you to reference your specific oil collection with the Essential Life book. So if you have a sticker, for with the specific name of your cleansing oil, for example, you may have an oil called Purify that is your cleansing blend, you can put that sticker right here. Now we sell this really easy book, this sticker book, and this particular book has names of doTERRA blends, but you can use this same method with any kind of sticker book or stickers that you may have for your oils. And I'm just gonna demonstrate how easy this is to use. So I'll turn back to that page which for us is going to be 143. This is the cleansing blend, and you're welcome to follow along with your specific stickers if you'd like. We also have a blog post about this up, if that makes it easier. And what you want to do is find the name of your corresponding blend. So for example, the cleansing blend for a doTERRA user is going to be Purify. And again, you can do this with any kind of oil, any kind of sticker that you might have. Maybe your, pure, your cleansing blend is called something else, 
go ahead and still find the corresponding name and take that sticker. So for us, it would be right here. This is Purify. Take one of these stickers. You'll see there are two stickers. Take one of these stickers and put it up here. So now above my cleansing blend in my book, it says Purify. So I know exactly what this blend is. That way I can look at this book and I can say, oh, Purify helps with air and odor cleansing, helps with addictions. Um, and it's just an easy way for me to really be able to reference this to my specific oil collection. The other thing that this book makes really easy is that you can take the second sticker and put this sticker on top of your oil bottle. So I'll take this second sticker. I'll close up this book for now. So I'll take this second sticker and put it on the top of my cleansing blend bottle. So you've got an easy way to identify it from the top when it's in your oil collection. And also, you have the same sticker and the same name in your book and in your oil collection, which just makes it really easy for quick reference. One of the questions that we get a lot with this system is, how do I know what the name of my cleansing blend is? And that's a really great question. Um, we have a great tool here at Oil Life called the Essential Bookmark. And this bookmark has the name of the generic blend, which we have in the book, and then the specific blend that it corresponds to. This is just a really easy way for you to be able to find out exactly what the name of it is. The at oil.life Instagram that we have, or you can tag us on Facebook or use the hashtag MyOilLife. Okay, so let's check on our diffusing blend. I've been able to smell it a little bit here, and I'll tell you, that cinnamon really makes it smell like something is baking. And it might be a little biased because the donuts are sitting right here, but I think that we've about got it. So let us know if you think that we should add something to our donut diffusing blend, and we'll definitely have that blend going today. Happy National Donut Day, um, and happy oiling. We'll see you next time here at Oil Life.